Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, short video this time, uh, it's a bit of an intermezzo in between uh, some restoration projects. Um, um, and I wanted to talk a bit about aligning the hexagonal cores on uh, Telefunken radios. Um, because if you saw my uh, YouTube series on the restoration of the Telefunken operette, then you will also have noticed that I struggled quite a bit to get the radio aligned. Uh, not only because there was a bad tube, but also because some cores were really difficult to adjust because I didn't have an appropriate adjustment tool. Um, so these cores um, are hexagonal. So in theory you would need like a female hexagonal adjustment tool, which I don't have. So yeah, see these are the cores I'm talking about. Um, see you have here a hexagonal one over there, over there. So these top three, I managed to adjust those with the, the soldering pump, um, like you saw in the in the last video series. But these two over here, they are way too deep inside the cylinder of the of the uh, of the coil, so I couldn't reach them with the with the soldering pump. So that's what I'm gonna try to find a solution for for these two over here. So yeah, the type of adjustment tools that I have is these type of uh, ceramic screwdrivers. So these are just like one Phillips screwdriver and three flathead screwdrivers. And then this set of adjustment tools, which has some bit more special things inside, like uh, for example, yeah, really fine screwdrivers or this type of thing, which is just uh, uh, a cyl cylinder with a sort of flat screwdriver inside. But I don't have anything which is hexagonal, so I started searching online and I also couldn't find anything at all. Um, and if you would find some small um, uh, female hexagonal adjustment tools, then they were all in metal, which is not really ideal um, to adjust the cores in the radio, especially the ones in the RF, because these ones that I need to align here are all in the RF stages. Um, so ideally I need something plastic or uh, some other type of uh, material, not metallic, which is like this, but then, um, yeah, hexagonal inside. So I uh, checked on the Dutch forum for the old radio, NFOR, and I posted the question there if somebody had an idea on how to adjust these types of cores. Now, <laughs> immediately I got a lot of reactions and lots of people were enthusiastic to think along with me. Um, so there were lots of suggestions being made. Um, and there was one suggestion made by E.J. Rietbergen, which I'm gonna try. So um, if it works, thanks. <laughs> um, and he suggested, well, why don't you buy some... Um, plastic screws with a hexagonal head and then file them off until they are shaped a bit so that they can fit inside the core and so that you can adjust the hexagonal core. So that's what I did. I went online and I bought three uh, these screws here, three types of screws. Um, so uh, M4, M5 and M6 uh, thickness in the head or size in the head. Um, and these are basically just uh, screws made of polyamide. Um, let me show you. Let me take the biggest one, for example. Uh, see, here you can clearly see uh, that it's a hexagonal head. So the idea is to file off here the edge of the head a bit so that it can fit inside um, the tube for the core. Um, yeah, so, and I bought three sizes because I wasn't really sure which one would fit. I think, in any case, these are too large. They won't, uh, they won't fit. So, um, I'm in doubting between um, these two. Um, the closest fit is definitely the small ones, but maybe they are slightly too small. I have no idea. So, I'm going to start with um, filing here off the edge of this, of the, this bolt. Um, and seeing if uh, if it fits and if I can use this to adjust and uh, to adjust the core. Oh, 
All right, so this is the result. Um, I fouled off as much as I could from the head here, um, but when I put it on the car, it doesn't fit. It's too small. Um, it does go inside the coil, see? So the thickness is okay, but the uh, opening inside is too small. So I'm now going to do the same thing here with this next shape. This is an M5 bolt. I'm also going to file off as much of the edge here as possible. And let's hope that this will fit. Okay, so I took the larger size and I also filed the head of that one. But um, yeah, that's too, too large. It just spins around the course. So it's not, uh, not the way to go this one. So what I then did, I took uh, again uh, a smaller one. Uh, because <laughs> that one cracked the original one while I was fiddling with it, but okay. Um, so I, I made a new one out of the smaller size, so this is the M4 size, this one. And um, I made it a bit bigger by first... Um, I had these torque bits here uh, laying around. And I found out that the cords in the in the radio are somewhere what between M5 uh, M4 and M5, so they are, let's say M4 and a half or something. Um, and I found out I had here some torque bits, and this is 964, and this one is a bit bigger than uh, M4. I think if I would take. This one over here, this is um, bo -bo 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 one eighth of an inch. That fits nicely in, the, in an uh, M4. So what I did is I took one step larger, which is larger than M4, but smaller than M5. And I just hammered it in a couple of times. And I just keep, um, let's say, very gently hammering this in. And then I tried using it as an adjustment tool and it was still too small. So I then I took again a, 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 a larger size um, which was uh, 532 uh, 5 over 32 and I hammered that in a couple of times and now look at the result here it works perfectly Alright, so now I have a uh, nicely working adjustment tool here for these um, uh, cores, this hexagonal course of the Telefunken operette. Um, and I'm just gonna finish the entire RF alignment just by using this tool and it'll work a lot better than my <laughs> soldering pump. I also tried and I can reach the cores which are completely at the bottom as well. So it's working perfectly. Yeah, so uh, long story short, I took a uh, M4 screw, um, I hammered in firstly um, here an, a torque of um, torque bit of 9 over 64 to make it a bit larger, then I hammered in a torque bit of uh, 5 over 32, and then I uh, filed off the edge uh, of the head here. To make it thinner and this is the result okay so um, if you know a better way of doing this feel free to share it in the comments um, this is the best way I found um, and I hope that yeah it can help you still in some way if one day you need to also align this type of uh, course so yeah I'm gonna leave it at this is just a quick um, video quick tutorial um, if you have a better solution, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you have subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If not, please subscribe. <laughs> so, and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.